it is the weekend, which is really cool, which hopefully means that lots of stuff's going to get done. Tomorrow's going to be kind of like a personal day, though, um, as long as everything works out. Uh, we're going to go down to the Puyallup Fair. However, that has nothing to do with this problem. I have backed myself into a corner with these pallets and this rail for the prop car because it needs to go this way but it can't go that way anymore because it's too long to hit that wall so all this stuff right here is in my way of continuing my work so there's like a crap ton of panels that need to be moved just so that I can continue I'm not looking forward to doing it and I have no idea what to do with them because we're also going to use panels up around here for um, I, I, I want to say concessions, uh, merch, merchandise. So, I'm really in a conundrum right now. I've been sitting here for like the last 10 minutes just looking at it thinking, what the heck am I going to do? Kind of like knowing what I have to do, but not putting any action behind it because I know what I have to do. I just don't want to like do it. Uh, so, energy level, today was a long day. Um, a little low right now, sorry but something has to happen. So I will make something happen and I'll stop rambling. How does that sound? Where are we? Here. That's where I'm at. Where is it? Oh. Pretty sunset. Does it move? Oh, it's the little girl from Walking Dead. That is so cool. Step on it. Go ahead. New support vampires. Jumping spider. Ah, holy crap! That scared me. <laughs> Zombie baby puppets. What do I say? from Columbia House. We just talking about getting that. <laughs> and getting that guy right there. He said that the stores only got two each. What is that? He's an electric chair. It's electrocuted. So what are we going to make Phoenix into? Panda. Elmo? Panda. 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 Thomas oh, and Friends? Panda. Panda. Hey, hey. Don't know what that is. Panda. Pumpkin? It should be Panda. A panda? a panda? I don't see any. I see a bunny. You gotta have one on A leopard. A, a kitty. No. Circus monkey. Panda. A wee rabbit. Panda. I insist. Oh, look it. It's a baby. 
Vampire. Look at that, a little vampire, baby vampire. And a little devil. Oh, that's right too classic. Little devil. No. Monster boo. No. Darling devil. No. No? No. Find a panda. There's no one here, there's definitely one online. Oh yeah. That's right. Vampire. Vampire Binky. Oh my goodness. It's the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Where? <laughs> that is pretty scary. Inflatable costume. Hey look, Slimer. It's a Slimer costume. Ghostbusters. Inflatable costume. Wow. What did you do? I <laughs> Hi, hey, Mika. Uh, yeah. So now we have nowhere to stand outside. Nope. Just before she left, she told me she was going to Spirit, and I said, ooh, grab the vlog camera. But I forgot to tell her that, do it incognito, because they're like really stringent on, ooh, you can't film inside Spirit. We've been over this before, last couple of COCs or whatever. Anyway, guys, I've been moving panels up the gazoo. So you can do the basement? Yeah, because I built myself into a corner, and now I'm all sweaty. Ew. What did you get? Well, you know that spirit uh, support vampires magnet on my trunk? Yes. That's like right next to my veterans plates. Yes. And everybody's like, support vampires, veterans. Hmm. Well, it's all ran out of uh, color. Found another one. Oh, awesome. But then I bought two because they tend to fade in the sun, so. Uh, I got ah, two. just like vampires. Ha! Yeah, they turn to much. dust. Many me found something for the baby. Ah, cool. Right on. She's getting lost in, in the haunted house. Does she do that often? What? Make strange noises and run? Yes. <laughs> oh, like that. Yeah. Are you in there? Yeah. Watch out, there might be landmines on the ground. Nope. Super echoey in here. I cleaned them up. She looks like a cat. Hi. Meow. <laughs> It's my time to say something funny, so tell me, say Troy, say something funny. Yeah, say something funny. Err, arg, panels. That wasn't very funny. Alright guys, so this is how it's looking right now. Going, looking out of the kitchen into the basement. And, um, I, I can't remember, I'll get to it in COC, but I can't remember who, um, asked. But this is the way this is going to go. Rails down on the side, again. There's going to be a partition right here. And it's actually going to be skinnier. You're going to walk down here. Um, this is uh, six and a half feet, so hopefully it'll clear everybody, but even if it doesn't, people know to duck. We'll have lights and everything. It'll be fairly lit so people will see. Um, I've got one more of these panels to go out, um, but basically you're going to loop around and then you'll come here. Now remember I said that there's a partition right here, so yes, you'll be coming back up out of the basement and out the door into the garden slash solarium. Not really solarium. Lori Lee looked it up the other day and solarium has glass. So greenhouse, well greenhouse has glass too. Um, plant area thing, something like that. Anyway, I've been able to get um, two more of these sides up and this top piece. So I'm thinking about doing one more top piece myself and then wrapping it up out here for the night because we got a we got a long day tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to be an interesting vlog. You guys will see it when it happens. No, you'll see it after it happens. Haha. -ha. I'm just about 16 feet deep and eight feet wide. So I don't know what square footage that is, but that's the square foot. Well, no, it's not square footage. That's the measurements of the dungeon. And guys, I'll tell you, I got the freaking crap scared out of me a couple minutes ago. Yes, a haunter got the poo scared out of them. We've got raccoons around here, and they love to stay on that side of the fence right back there and all the bushes and whatnot. So here I am working, and I was kind of quiet for a little while, and then I did this. And oh my gosh, that raccoon was on the other side of the fence. He took off on that side of the fence, rustling through the leaves, and then he went on the outside of this fence, rustling on the leaves down that way. Made the, the hairs on my neck stand up. Scary. I was scared. I'll admit it. Thank you for watching the vlog. And you're about to witness... Cock? Yes. Very good. Ding, ding, ding. Jake Pugh. 
Does the haunt smell like the Home Depot wood area right now? Yeah, but it's, you know, it's getting the outdoor smell. So it's not smelling all new woody, you know? <laughs> new woody. New woody. It's haunty. I love the smell of it out there. I go out there and I'm like, what is that one show where the girl sticks her hand underneath her armpits? She's like... <sighs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, Child's Play 233. You should hang up some burlap in the area where it looks like you're going underground. It looks and feels really creepy. I don't know exactly what, what I'm going to do. I think the best look for it is going to be to highlight the opening, and then it'll be darker on the inside, so it will also look like it's, like, darker and further down and whatnot. I, I think the lighting is going to be... in. My instrumental, instrumental part playing in it. Yeah, I just read on Facebook. Uh, Huntcast reposted um, this. The one of the biggest haunt haunt attractions in Pennsylvania just burned down today. Ooh. Yeah, they were had everything. What or props were up in the wood and had a huge pirate ship and everything. It was all wooden burlap, and dude was using a machine that created the spark, and he didn't have a fire extinguisher right off hand so by the time you get back with it um, it had caught on too far and just burned the entire haunted attraction down. Wow. Anybody get hurt? No. Now that's the first that I heard of that. So you guys be safe out there. Alright? We don't need, I mean unfortunate circumstance, but we don't need negative publicity for the haunter world and I'm glad nobody was hurt. That's the most important part. Debit 353 Great 666 last night. Thanks Dana. Yeah, played the Haunted House Penny Slot Machine yesterday. The Countess gave me $22 and in less than 10 minutes cashed out with $519.50. Did you give her $22 back? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, honey. This is the $22 back. <laughs> Cha ching <laughs> That is really cool. So I have, to, I have to ask, did you put it on, like, the max payout? Or did you, like, just select a couple? Because I'm always confused with that because you never get, like, really big amounts unless you do, like, max Oh, max bid, that's what I'm thinking of. Haunted House and 666, karma paid off. Now off to pressure wash the patios and clean the gutters. Damn you, Countess! Halloween prep starts tomorrow. Gothic Dorothy, the outro was cute. And I want to say, if you guys want to do an outro for Halloween Hellmouth, just make sure that it's all your own material, uh, no copywritten music or anything. And I would love to use your outro. So put them on your channel and put them as private. Send me a message, and I will rip it from YouTube, and I'll use them. I'd be happy to do that. Mr. Wushu, 70. Seeing you guys on Blog TV was weird. To see you guys sit still for an hour was strange. You're always moving around in the haunt at Lowe's in the car, etc. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we sit down when we do cock. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, if I had the camera with me more often, like lately, with going through the estate sale and all that kind of stuff... Would have had, we should go on the estate sale on the way back from the fair tomorrow. Team Ella, I'm not sure if you saw my comment about the basement last night on Blog TV. What I said was, we created a very similar effect and it was effective. <laughs> she put haha. -ha. I, I added a ha. You should have a light on one side or the other as people will hit their heads if they can't see that the ceiling is coming down. But that's what that's if you make it low enough. Some people will hit their heads either way, but for 99% of people, light is enough. There's still the people that hit their heads, even though I told them to duck. Six and a half feet, I don't think there's going to be... Actually, it's just a little under six and a half feet. Um, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of people hitting their heads. But, yes, having some of the, the old style, like the pole lights or whatever, um, like with a really low freaking wattage bulb, might be something that I might put in there. I just said might twice. Read! Read! Words? Letters? Yes. Things? Oh, you just did the Samantha tinkle, tinkle, tinkle with her nose. Taze Mache. You did good, Lori Lee. Keep it up, baby mama. I know. I freaking... I loved Halloween before, but this one, I'm now all I see is Halloween. <laughs> Ow. You guys didn't see it, but she just slapped my hairy leg. Awoken Nightmare. That stairway area is looking very cool. The effect really works well. Will people be exiting out of the basement through a cellar door, or are they going up another staircase? And that's the one that I answered outside. So if you didn't see it, guys, go rewind a little bit. Nail Bunny Girl, down in the underground. 
Come on, what movie? I have no idea. I don't either. I don't want to put it on my face right now because I don't know. And I was going to look it up and cheat online, but I didn't have time. Yep, sorry. I'm not the all-knowing. For shame. Mr. Bulldozer Videos. We need more blogging, Troy. I get more housework done when I watch you and Laura Lee. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Uh, what cool. are you trying to say? We <laughs> drive people to clean? We make we make you feel dirty? Is that what you're saying? God! Mika's like, what? What? Am I dirty? I'm a dirty dog. Mr. Dennis Dude 13. I am Ton of Pickles. Yay, I'm in there in the vlog. I love pickles. And new commenter. Thank you. You're holding your scab. Yeah. <laughs> Do you need me to pick your scab? Very funny. You're kind of genius. I know. <laughs> I got some bug spray for that if you need some help. Bye. <laughs> Tia Mella, I posted pictures of Halloween stuff that I got at the garage sale on Facebook. I tagged you. Also, if anyone else in BC and looking to buy pre-made Halloween stuff. I know someone that is selling all his Halloween props. Message me for details. What's wrong with that dude? I don't know. What is he going to do? Buy Christmas stuff with it? <laughs> Money? <laughs> Just kidding. Emerald Dripsy Heart. Laura Lee, my ex-husband craved chocolate ice cream and cheddar cheese when I was pregnant for my oldest son. It was disturbing. I craved... delicious. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate ice cream and cheddar cheese? It was disturbing. I craved Tex-Mex from Poncho's Tex-Mex Buffet. That sounds like a, a a heartburn recipe. Was that it? I'm done with your cock. Wow. Oh yeah? Well, I'm done with yours. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Alright guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. Happy haunting. was another terrifying tale from the hell mouth. Tune in tomorrow, boys and ghouls, for another terrifying chapter. <laughs>